Welcome to this segment on uh, buck boost converters. Uh, they are able to step down as well as step up uh, a given uh, DC voltage. And uh, <clears throat> uh, they are used for deriving uh, the, the flyback converters. So they have very extensive applications. So it's very important for us to understand uh, their operation. And uh, we'll look at uh, their operation here in, uh, again, continuous conduction mode here, where the inductor current is always uh, flowing. <clears throat> so uh, we can implement uh, a buck boost converter, once again, using a switching power pole, as shown over here. And uh, quite often, it is drawn in this manner. But I think for us, it's perhaps best to keep looking at uh, this buck boost converter uh, as shown in the, uh, on the left here, although it's the very same circuit as on the right. So let's look at uh, uh, the, uh, the operation in steady state of this buck boost converters. Here the switching signal, which is on for uh, T times TS, and then it's zero, and it's repeating. And uh, so let me just uh, very quickly draw this uh, buck boost converter here like this. Uh, so this is uh, V sub A right here, and that we are plotting here in this. And uh, uh, so let's just leave it at that. And you can see here that uh, maybe I should complete this here. V in here, and this is the load here. So V O is over here, and V in is over here. So you can see that uh, uh, when the transistor is on, uh, right here, uh, this diode is off, and uh, VA is equal to the sum of these two voltages here, v, VN and V0. And when the, the transistor is off, then this current through this inductor circulates through this free wheel through this diode, so VA goes to zero here. So VA is jumping between V in plus V0 to zero. And uh, so we can find uh, this average, which is shown by the dotted line, and that you can see would be equal to, average of this would be equal to V0, because the average voltage across the inductor is zero. And uh, so we can get the voltage ratio to be D over one minus D. So you can see that it's really, if I were to write it like this, D times one minus, one, one D times one minus D, one D times one over one minus D, this corresponds to buck, this corresponds to boost over here. So it's really the product of the two. And uh, <clears throat> uh, given the voltage waveform of VA, uh, we can uh, plot the, the inductor voltage. And uh, uh, having done that, we can plot the ripple current because the peak-to-peak -peak ripple current would be we just take the on interval is given by this expression here, and uh, it'll cross the zero axis at the midpoint of the on interval, and it'll cross the midpoint of the off interval over here, and uh, the average current through this inductor, uh, as you can appreciate, this is I n here, and this is I o, and this is uh, I l. So it's really average current is equal to the sum of average in input current and the sum of output current, average output current. And if you superimpose the ripple on top of the average, uh, we have the complete waveform here. And similarly, we can find the diode, uh, current to the diode here, this diode here, and uh, the current to this capacitor over here, shown here. So uh, we can equate the input power to the output power and uh, get uh, this expression for IN in terms of IO. And uh, similarly, we can get the expression for the average inductor current. <coughs> yeah, here is the p-spice model. And uh, what we have here is the, the inductor current in green, IL, and then the inductor voltage uh, in the other color here. Uh, similar to a boost converter, uh, buck boost uh, converters can uh, 
uh, going in a discontinuous conduction mode can have very high output voltage for a given input voltage here. So in summary, we have looked at a bus bo buck boost converter, its applications and its operation in DC steady state. Thanks.